You're calling from a 512 area code. Who are you? Where are you calling from? Hey, it's Tammy in Texas, Austin. Tammy. Wait, do we have, did you talk to Ted Cruz? Was that you? Yes. Do yes, we that have that me. pulled? Before we, before I, before we get into that, I just want to say, Michael, sure. uh, you were the first person I ever spoke to on the radio. Oh. I don't know if you remember. I do. I called in about being an atheist and. Yeah, I do. I didn't know that was your um, first call, but I do remember that call. Yep. And I just wanted to thank you for, for taking that call and letting me kind of come out of the closet a little bit. Of course. And just so you know, I'm all the way. Obviously, if you've seen the video, you know I'm all the way out of the closet now. Oh, I love it. I haven't seen the video yet. we got to fish it out. Yeah, we don't have it, but we yeah. might. Please, some, the, someone could maybe text. She could, tweeted it. Well, out. everybody, everybody. Everybody's seen it. Nobody, trust me. No, it's I haven't like seen it. I am the Young being... Turks have a quarter of a million hits. My, it has a quarter of a million hits on just on my post of it. But wow. um, I wanted to give. I've given one interview to Vice News, but I wanted to give you an exclusive to ask me anything you want to know. So how? What was the call? What was the plan? I I'm, I wish that I had watched this, but what was the. What was the call? Was it an open, like an AM talk show with Ted Cruz? And did you have it pre planned what you were going to ask him? And no. What? Okay. Oh, wait, is this it? It was a campaign. Oh, Tammy, we're going to play this really quick and then I'm going to ask you my question. Okay. We're, we're going to. Is this ready to play? Okay. And then, Tammy, I'm going to come right back to you and ask you. I'd be sure to read what I want to ask. Uh, I'm a woman over 50 who, as of February 7th, has seven active pre-existing conditions on not counting, being female, and a survivor of abuse. I purchased my individual policy on the health insurance exchange. If you force me into a high-risk pool, you will either bankrupt me or kill me. I take this risk of medical aggression personally and seriously, and I can assure you I'm not the only Texan who does. Who does. My question is, will you pledge to submit to a DNA has to prove that you're human. Well, ma'am, thank you for that. And you know, one of the great things about our democratic system is that we can treat each other with respect and civility. Is that a yes or a no? Uh, ma'am, if you want to engage in insults, that's your problem. No. But I'm not going to respect yes no question. Thank you for being it's here, ma'am. It's a yes or no question. That's wow. amazing. It's beautiful. But my question to you, and this is one of the things that makes Ted Cruz even more disturbing and bizarre to me, is that he actually seems genuinely hurt by that. Was he? No. Um, I can tell you that this event was a campaign event. He hopscotched all over Texas, anywhere that his pi private pilot could put down his aircraft, and he could get in and out quickly. Um, he was an hour late. Right. The, fu uh, the, front, the front row was all full of Ted Cruz fans and people that he wanted to talk about, and the purpose for the uh, campaign event was to slag Obamacare. That's what it was all about. Um, okay. Did anybody so to, come up to I you did, and support you? I mean, was there anybody else there that was sort of opposed to him, or or was you? Did you face a lot oh of hostility? God, yeah. oh, okay, tell me. Great. I was in. I was in. I was in. <laughs> I was in friendly territory. I didn't plan to film what I did, but I looked behind me at some point during the evening, and a girl that I know from Steiner Ranch Democrats, it's an Austin Democratic Club. She was sitting one row behind me and three seats over. Oh, that's awesome. And she she. She had a look on her face like she was being walked to the gallows. Her name is Jessica. She hated being there. Me, I had a plan for what I wanted to do. I posted everything I was going to do on Facebook before I did it. The only people that were surprised were Ted Cruz and people who don't follow me on Facebook. I said exactly what I was going to do. I even put up a picture of my cue card because I, I get nervous mm -hmm. around crowds. And I wanted to be able to, re I knew if I, if I tried to wing it, it would be a nightmare. So I had a little, a little four by six card written out what I wanted to say about me. I didn't have the question on there because I was worried that some of Ted Cruz goons might be looking over my shoulder reading what I was going to say. Right. And if they saw the question I was going to ask and they would have like yanked me out of there. Yeah. No, it's so. smart. Do you, do you think, uh, did you, did you, you choose you, to you make... Asked, did you choose to make it a like end with kind of a you know a, a dig at him because if you just talked about your how important the legislation was to you that you knew he'd go off into some you know irrelevant lies and spin so better to just make it awkward and funny well here's here's the whole point, and people don't know this. The whole point is to get the word out 
that Republican health care policy is inhuman. Yep. Okay? It's inhuman. If you saw somebody on the side of the road with a broken leg crying and screaming, you would stop and help them. Right. Because you're a human. Right. Just because it's policy doesn't mean it's bloodless. Okay. Yep. I knew that if I asked him at the end, will you pledge to support and expand health care for all Americans, that that moment would never go viral. Right. Never. Right. You also so wouldn't have I gotten as is, any kind of satisfying answer from him. Yeah. Well, as I said, no, he well, would have just I, lied I, and I, spun. I sat and, yeah. listened to, I, yeah. I sat and listened to him lie for an hour about Obamacare. Yep. And, and had to bite my tongue as he lied and lied and lied. Right. And I kept a very calm, serene, ex- I was dressed all in black, wearing a black church lady hat because I'm shy. Hats are my thing. They're, they're like my armor. Mm-hmm. I can tell you that he looked into my eyes for, held my gaze for seconds at a time during his prepared speech. And I never blinked and I never let on how much I loathe him as, as a person and as a political actor. Right. Because I wanted the chance to ask him a question. But I will tell you, every time he lied about Obamacare, my heart pounded. What were some of the lies? Fury. What were some of the lies? Okay, here's one. A person on the front row decided that Obamacare was the devil, so his parents bought into something called MediShare, which is run by churches. Mm-hmm. Who His parents got into a medical situation that MediShare would not cover, that would have been covered if they had Obamacare. So this person blames Obama for his parents not having their care covered. Right. Wow. And what does Ted Cruz say? Yeah, crazy. No, he reads all of this stuff. Oh, I see. Oh, 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 I see. I see. He doesn't let the people get up and talk. Oh, okay. I see. He and it's somebody who works for him. Gotcha. Gotcha. It. It was. You just. Here's what I want you to know, because people have asked me this. And so I'm giving you an exclusive audio of me answering the two big questions. Number one, you looked into his eyes. Did you hurt his feelings? What was going on with that? And I will tell you that there's no one home. Okay? I believe there's that. There's not a person in, inside there that can be hurt. Right. Yes. Nothing that I said bothered him in the least. Yeah, he's a monster. Lying doesn't he's bother a, he's him He's an absolute least. monster. Well, yeah, I think his answer speaks to the conservative yeah. project that you were talking about on your show last night, Michael, which is all about making the oppressors look like the victims. Right. That is yeah. lit, right. The second question people ask is, did he smell like sulfur? Mm-hmm. And I can tell you no, but I got close enough to tell you that he smelled like dirty money. Did he smell? I thought he would smell like, like sort of like uh, catfish that went bad in the sun. That's sort of my read on I it. have never experienced that. Yeah. As a Texan, I should know what that smells like, yeah. but I don't. Yeah, I was trying to do, I was trying to get regional with you, Tammy. Come on. But what I want to say, Michael, to you personally, is yes. when I called in the first time, I read, just like I did with Ted Cruz, I read what I wanted to say. Mm-hmm. You engaged me, and you were empathetic and human, okay? I have no doubts that, that you have 46 chromosomes just like I do. <laughs> The point of my video was, I don't understand a person like Ted Cruz. I don't understand trying to acquire power so that you can cause harm to other members of your species. I don't get it. I don't get it either. And I never will. Yeah, I don't get it. On that very basic human level, Tammy, it is utterly mystifying to me. I'm as clueless as you are. Our society selects for sociopathic traits. So most of us aren't going to get that. There's structural, all sorts of... Yeah, we... Psychiatric, economic, mm-hmm. political, absolutely. But on a very, very basic, visceral level, you get it or you don't. Most yeah. people aren't sociopaths. I appreciate the call, Tammy. Well, thanks a million. What, what I want to say yeah. finally, yeah, wait, wait, wait I ahead. have one more thing that I want okay. to say. And that is, these shows are great. Social media is great. It's a place to find people that, that keep you excited about politics. But I want to ask your, your listeners to get involved. Get involved physically out in the brick and mortar world. I am now, and it feels amazing. Well, yeah, I thought awesome. the greatest thing about your story was how you saw somebody you knew through organizing, and she was able to take that video for you. Like that's yeah. exactly the sort of thing yeah. that needs to be happening. That's exactly it. Jessica You're doing Clinton, it. Yes. Thank you so much, Tammy. Talk to you soon. Thanks.